one of the most important substances in the universe is water, H2O. Very simple. God said, okay, I want to make H2O. Two hydrogen atoms, one oxygen atom, which we talked about that. The oxygen, let's say, has got eight electrons around the eight nucleus going around. And hydrogen, very simple, one electron going around one nucleus. So it's going around. So the universe, the Tao, put it together and it showed the Tao water. Cannot live without it. Now, in Tao Te Ching, the, Dao, the Lao Tzu talks about the water. The water, the Lao Tzu says, is the closest thing to the Tao, as we can see. Because this water, at the room temperature, without very sophisticated equipment, can just be fluid, which is water, can be fluid, water can be fluid, can be solid, which is ice, and can be gas, so which is steam. So, within this water, you have the yin, yang, chi. You have the solid, which is the yang, solid. You have a gas, which is the steam. And when you put together, you create fluid. So you have that duality plus the third part, the trinity, which we will discuss it. So in the Tao Te Ching, water is the closest thing to the Tao. Because at a very simple room temperature, with no sophisticated equipment, you can make gas, you can make solid, which is ice, you can make steam, and it can, it can be fluid at the same time. The highest good is like water. Water gives life to the 10,000 things and does not strive. It flows in places men reject, and so is like the Tao. In Taoism, we say water is life, which, is, which we have known scientifically. The reason in, in, in the, the Lao Tzu talks about the water as in the form of a Tao is water is like a Tao. It exists in all these three different forms, yin, yang, qi, and also it gives life to 10,000 things. 10,000 things in the Tao Te Ching, in Taoism, means universe. Plants, animals, species, bacteria, viruses, protozoa, amoeba, everything. It's, called, it's just a heading, 10,000 things. So water gives life to 10,000 things, which is the yang. But at the same time, like the Tao, it doesn't ask for any credit. Water is very humble. Doesn't ask for any credit. Doesn't say, oh, look at me. I'm giving life to 10,000 things. Look at my structure, my molecules. Look at me. I'm, I can exist in all three forms. Never ask for credit. It gives life. Water goes into the mud, you know, into the earth, into the mess into the shit, into everything, and doesn't ask any questions. Water is both yin and yang, it's very powerful, but very fluid and humble. And that is the Tao. So, closest things to the Tao is water. It's humble. It doesn't ask credit. It doesn't say, look at me. It's just very subtle. And that's what, in a way, God is subtle. Yet, God gives life to everything. So, the other part of the, this chapter 8 is... In dwelling, be close to the land. In meditation, go deep in the heart. In dealing with others, be gentle and kind. In speech, be true. In ruling, be just. In business, be competent. In action, watch the timing. No fight, no blame. Right. So it's, it's all the yin and the yang. Like in, in, in business, which is yang, be competent, which is yin. In speech, which is yang, be true. In, in, in meditation, which is yang, go deep. So it's all yin and yang. The whole thing of the universal law is this yin and yang, ebb and flow. Once you be at peace 
with the yin and the yang, you don't blame anything or you don't fight anything. You don't need to because you're at peace with the yin and at peace with the yang. Like water, you're at peace. You pour water into a glass, it takes the shape of the glass. You pour water over a solid object, it goes around it. You pour water, it evaporates and it comes back again. That is a Tao. So, we as human beings, we are seventy percent water. We've got to be like water. We've got to be like Tao. Be at peace with the Yin and the Yang.